Don't miss out on the special offer from my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They're currently giving you 20% off if you use my coupon code Poodle at checkout and also giving you an additional 10% coins at checkout. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden 20 Ultimate Team video, guys. It's going to be showing you guys the top 10 players I think you need in your team right now. Obviously, I've already gotten a few of them that I think I'm just, I want to go into the pack opening, get some more coins so I can finish out the team and get the players that I think I need on this team. But. For now, I'm going to do the top 10 overall, and then when I start playing the game more and I really get a feel for a few different players, when they get like probably a week or two, I'll probably do the top 10 offensive and the top 10 defensive. But for now, I'm going to do overall. So, I'll head over to the auction block, obviously, because if I just did it for my binder, I only got like six of them, I think. So, let's start from the quarterback position. I mean, eh, you know what? The quarterback doesn't have a dominant dominant position just yet, so you can actually wait on that. Because as much as I like Brady Mahomes, there's not that one standout guy yet at running back again. There is one guy, I'm just going to tell you real quick, Tariq Cohen, theme builder, from what I've been told by many people, he is a god, he's a glitch, just get him, but you also have to play the solos, or you can power up pass him, or training pass him, so remember that, power up Tariq Cohen, 86 overall, 87 overall theme builder, remember that, I can't show you on the block because he's not auctionable, now a wide receiver, I don't think I haven't got to say it, Tyree Kill, once I find him, is going to be, hands down, one of the most glitchiest players that you're going to need right now, so that's, I'm going to put him at... Put him at number two. I'm putting Terry Cohen in there. I just remember him. So Tyreek Hill, 89 speed. This is a year right now where things are very toned down. Like, play people are very, very slow. People aren't too fast right now. Tyreek Hill, 89 speed. is like, I literally played one game with him. I streaked it like three times and I burnt them all three times. The cornerback can't even keep up. Think about it. The, almost every corner, the highest speed corner is like Marshawn Lattimore at like an 87 or 86 speed. And that's if you have him. If you don't have him, the next highest corners or like 84, 83. Most people can't even afford those. Most people have like Desmond Kings and like those guys. Those guys are like 70, 90 speed. I mean, Tyreek is a plus 10 already. So Tyreek's are right at number two. Now, uh, for number three, I don't want to put another wide receiver because you, I have a list and DeAndre Hopkins was on it, guys. But the issue is that I already put Tyreek Hill at wide receiver, so I want to change that up a little bit. Next one to be Aaron Donald. Aaron Donald, guys, getting there right now, is obviously one of the most dominant players in Madden as a whole. 298k right now. I told you guys in my prior videos, buy him when he was 220. He was going to go up. And I think he might even go up when the game comes out tomorrow around here. So that's why I have him. I have Ramsey. I bought a bunch of players ready because you really need to have these. He's going to be my number three overall player. It's, I don't have to really look at his stats. They kind of speak for themselves. 81 tackle, 88 play rec, 88 power move, 89 strength, 86 block shed, 85 finesse move, 81 excel. And the speed I don't really care about right at this point in the game with people being so slow. And there being no fast quarterbacks just yet. That is crazy. Like, every stat's above an 80. High 80s, too. He's going to be number two. Now, number three. I mean, number four. Sorry. Is going to be pretty obvious. Pretty obvious. It's, oh, actually, I'm going to do Clowney first. Because only, these aren't in any order. Clowney first, because I clicked right outside linebacker. So, Jadavion Clowney. His stats don't look as good as they should. But Jadavion Clowney, you know, six foot five, Athletic, outside linebacker with good play rec. Good tap. He's going to be a... He's going to be able to make plays in the open field, such as, like, when they're passing, because he has decent play rec. You know, he kind of, he can stay in the he can stay in the play a little bit longer. And he's fast for an outside linebacker, and he's a pass rusher. And I want him just because I'm going to power, probably power him up and keep him the majority of the year. And now the next, guys, the next one is, you, I mean, I can only imagine. You guys have to know this one. This is what I was talking about. Khalil Mack. Here we are. 240. Okay. Hmm. I need this Khalil Mack. 240. I might have to go sell some stuff to get that back. Khalil Mack, look at it. Look at these stats. They are insane. And outside linebacker. If you can have Mack, Clowney, and Donald on the same defense, you're not losing. You're not. I mean, if you have a good secondary on top of that, Clowney's easily number five right here. Insane card. You need to have this guy on your team. If you can have all three of them together, that's unstoppable. I might have to go sell some cards after this video to go get this Mack because that is, he was like two, 300 before. Wow. I'm going to probably go put some cards up for that. Now, the next card is going to be, you guys don't already know, it's coming up. I said him before. Jalen Ramsey, we can get to him all the way down here. Let's see what he's going for. 226. If you guys can get him for about low 200s, I'd recommend buying him. Insane card. He's fast enough to keep up with most wide receivers in this game right now, besides like Tyreek Hill and a few glitchy golds. But his press, he's not going to let you get any free releases on him. His man and zone powered ups can already break the threshold if they have threshold again. He's just all around. Like he's, He can do it all. And he's good in run protection. He's, he's good at run stopping. He's a good physical corner. He's tall. There's nothing about Ramsey that he can't do. So for that reason, he's going to be one of the top corners. 
So he's coming in, I believe that was number six, right? We got Tyreek, Tariq Cohen, Donald, Mack, Jalen, five. So we're up to number six now. Number six was a hard one. So number six, there's, there's plenty of guys in this game that you, you could want, right? But this guy right here, he's going to be cheap too. Cheap, he's not that cheap, but he's going to be a low overall. This guy right now, until you get Pat Tillman, I believe that this guy is a must-have on many teams right now. Look at these stats, right? 82 speed. He can keep up with most players. And he's a safety. He's not a cornerback. So he doesn't have to be on, on ball that much. This guy could play linebacker. He could play safety. He could play cornerback. He could man up. He could zone. He could make you fumble. He could knock you out of your shoes. He can play in the box. He can run stop. He's an 82 speed, 81 excel, 85 play rec, 83 pursuit, 79 man, 80 zone, 86 hit power. He's six foot one. J Jamal Adams is literally a god at strong safety right now. He's a hybrid. He can do it all. Like there's really nothing he can't do. He is the perfect guy to throw into strong safety. And just let him let him do his thing. He, or even if you play a, a big nickel or something, you put him in the box, and you could literally have him close up three three five. Put him in the box. User him. That's what I'd probably do. He's a great card. I pulled him hat luckily, so it's a great great card to have. So he's coming in at number six. So now we got. It all, it all depends. So, I'm going to go back to offense a little bit because I have some space in this list. I've, I've been narrowing it down. I feel like this card is like a must-have right now. I have him, and he's so good, and I've got to try him. DeAndre Hopkins. He's not the fastest wide receiver, but then again, not many of them are. Look at these catching stats. 90 jumping. So, he's going to he's 6 foot 1, 90 jumping, 86, 87 catching, 88 catch in traffic, 88 spec catch, 84 short route running, 83 medium route, and 80 deep route. And right now... It looks like the little bit of separation on your cornerbacks. It looks like you're just going to be able to high high point that and catch that all day. So he's got, if you power him up or, or uh, chem him up, he's going to have 90 spec catch, 90 catch in traffic, 90 catching. Wow, this card is insane. Like if you want just a pure catching god right now, DeAndre Hopkins is definitely the move. He's going to be number, I'm losing track guys, but I think we're like a number six or seven, but you got the point. I mean, I give you another one extra or whatever. I guess it's just better for you guys. Now, uh, this one, I love Mahomes, right? But I don't think his stats justify. So I wasn't put him on this list, but he's not fast enough. Like he, his speed looks okay, but he really doesn't feel that fast when you're actually playing. So to me, he's not really worth it. His price, like I feel like there's no dominant quarterbacks now. So I'm just gonna be rocking with Brady, accurate, accurate, as, pa as accurate as a passer as you're gonna get, while being able to keep it in within a decent price range. Now next one is going to be Pat Peterson. Pat Peterson is like. He's like a Jalen Ramsey type card, which is slightly lower down uh, zone. And man, I have another cornerback. I have three cornerbacks in this list. There's some really good cornerbacks for a good price. So Pat Pete, 83 speed, 86 jumping, 86 agility, 81 play rec, 84 man, 81 zone, 85 press, 83 acceleration. He clears everything with over an 80. He's six foot one. You know, and, and if you don't know Pat Pete, he's always like the meta god. He's always the guy that you want on your team every single year. Now there's a guy that I actually picked over Pat Peterson. And that is Byron Jones. So as you guys can see, I have myself a Byron Jones right here. So let's actually compare now that I have Pat P right here. I want to have all three, but again, there's a Marshall. I'll save him. I'll tell you, that'll be my next card for his item list too. So if you compare Pat P to Byron Jones, Byron Jones pretty much beats him everywhere. And where they don't beat the tie, like man is the only thing he beats him in, but like you don't really run man that much in Madden anymore. I mean, maybe you cross man a little bit, but I don't know if you're gonna do that with him. So the point is here, they're almost the same height. Very similar builds, but Byron Jones is actually more athletic. He has better excel, better agility, better jumping, better zone. Like I just I can't justify having Pat Pete over him, which I think the price is adjusted now, as you guys can see, because yesterday Byron Jones was way cheaper. Now he's almost 70k, so I guess people are trying to pick up on that. Now, this is the third corner, right? Coming in around number eight or whatever. Marshawn Lattimore, ultimate team trainer, whatever it's called. That guy is a beast. He has like an 87 speed. So if it was between these three guys, Byron Jones, Pat Pete, or, By or Matt Marshall and Lattimore that you need right now, I'd go Lattimore first, then Byron Jones, then Pat Peterson. I don't have the stats or not to show you guys. It's probably a mudhead, but I don't really want to switch it over for you guys because it's going to take off the screen. And I don't really like doing videos on the website. But the point is, he's like an 87 speed. That guy is the best corner in the game right now. I like Jalen a little more, but he's not nearly as fast. But Marshall Lattimore, you need him if you can get him. Go knock out those ultimate team, team trainers and go get that Marshall Lattimore. Obviously, there's other choices on that list, but I think that's one of the best ones. No, scratch that. That is the best one. And then, obviously, if you can't afford that or you can't take the time out of your day to do that, you can just buy Byron Jones and Pat Peterson, which I just did for now until I have the time to play those solos because I'm not able to do it because I don't have enough hours. So that is the only thing stopping me from actually going through and getting that Marshall Lattimore.
Now heading over to the 88s and 89s, guys. I have an issue with Bobby Wagner on this list, which I just wanted to explain before people comment, why don't you have Bobby Wagner on this list? I can't justify his speed. I really can't. I, I just, I, I can't justify his speed. He's too slow. You know who I'd much rather? A guy like Ryan Shazier, who well, now he's on the list. This Ryan Shazier team captain, he's not even maxed out yet. When I get this Shazier to 99, not 99, whew, a 90 with training, he's going to be way cheaper than Bobby Wagner because it took, just took training and was a free card. He's going to have similar tackling, similar play rec, similar block shedding, a little lower hip power, a better zone, better speed. And right now, the most important thing you can have in a linebacker position, in my opinion right now, at this point in the game is speed. People won't even use this guy. They'll use like Blake Martinez as the lower overall middle linebacker just for speed. It just, it doesn't, it doesn't validate to use Bobby Wagner. He's just too slow. Like if you want a user, Ryan Chazier has max cards and have an 86 speed. If you came up and everything, like 87 speed, 86 speed, like that's literally faster than all wide receivers in this game besides Tyreek Hill. He can literally run the route for them. So I was using him for one game. I played one game so far, Matt, with my online team. That's all I need to know. Ryan Chazier got three user picks. It's crazy how good he is. So I can't justify Bobby Wagner at 200K when I can just get Ryan Show. He's 170 now. Oh, he's going down 155, guys. Actually, he's coming down a little bit. But I can't justify it over Shazier. Now, let me throw in one last little card there. One last guy that I really like mm, that I want to recommend is Saquon Barkley for a very cheese free. He's a free running back that you get at level 21, I believe, out of the level pack. He has just as good a stats as Todd Gurley. Ezekiel Elliott, and he's literally a quarter of the price, and if he's free, if you take him out of the pack. That's it, guys. That was a little quick little NGM right there. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure to drop a sub. It helps a lot. Love seeing growth. Let's get this going. If you guys enjoyed the video, drop a like. Let's get this video to 50 likes. It'll mean a lot if you could. It helps me out a ton. Also, comment down below who you think I missed on this list. If you think anyone that I missed, anyone that was under overrated on this list, comment down below, guys. That's about it. I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm out.